Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It is Everton facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Takes it on! That is a really disappointing effort. Goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Asagawa, an important interception. Promising looking attack from Everton. Well, possibilities in the centre. This looks promising. Able to get a body in the way. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Kerstin Kasparay in with a chance and a close offside decision as they were threatening and take it away takes the shot and there it is 1-0 their efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations well here's the replay and just look at that power that's almost unstoppable that's a great strike One nil then. Gali. Park. Lucy Graham. And you can sense the threat is there. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Yui Hasagawa. Asagawa. Oh, a golden opportunity for her. Oh, she should have done so much better from there. Well, there you can see City haven't been able to control possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. It's really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. Body in the way. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. How about the cross? Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, showing everyone her abilities in possession. Can she score? And a goal! to increase their advantage it's a two-goal lead now well here you can see it again good run great strength and a composed finish under pressure that's a top class goal
so underway again and a 2-0 advantage here well time is up as far as the first half is concerned here on Merseyside And as they kick off the second half, Manchester City lead this fixture. And now, passing it through. Ball's gone. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Straight offside, but only just. Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card. So a personnel change then. Aurora Galli, Katja Snueis. And that pass could be troublesome. And she's made the timely run. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Kasparay. Now, who can she pick out? Has a go. Superb block. Benison. Everton moving the ball forward with purpose. Has a go! Oh, a smart stop. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the danger is still there. Excellent vision. Still possibilities. Oh, it's goalkeeping at its finest. Absolutely right. That is a wonderful save. Top class stuff from the keeper. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, no mistake from the keeper, acting decisively. Kelly. On to Greenwood. And unable to keep possession. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, a bad pass it was. Shaw. Well, she keeps moving. And it's still on. 
Can she connect with a teammate? Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And saved by the keeper. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Asagawa. Khadija Shaw. Options in the middle. Terrific block. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.